One of my favorite stories from the Lewis and Clark adventure deals with the time that they're in the mountains when they found the source of the Missouri River. One of their major goals is to find the source. Where does the Missouri River start? And you can see from this map that when they leave from St. Louis, they're going to finally get all the way up into the mountains in Montana to find the source of the river. When they get to it, the source of the Missouri is truly a little tiny babbling brook that starts from a fresh mountain stream. When they find this, they believe that when they get to the top of the hill, they'll find a similar stream headed straight to the Pacific Ocean and that they will have found a water passage all the way across America. As they're traveling and they get to this point, imagine their surprise when they walk to the top of the hill and what they see is mountain peak after mountain peak after mountain peak. So they know that travel by boat will no longer be possible. Instead, they need to find the Indians in the area and try to trade with them for horses or the expedition very well may stop. When they get here, they know they need to find the Shoshone and they spend several days doing that. They finally convince the leader of the Shoshone Indians to come back and meet with them. And the station you are working at now is the station where Sagagawea will translate from Shoshone into Mandan to French to English so that they can understand what's being said. Sacagawea was a Shoshone Indian who had been kidnapped as a young child and really had been raised by the Mandan. So they were fortunate that she spoke both languages. When the Shoshone ch chief comes and they start to have the conversation, Sagagawea, through the course of this conversation, stops and realizes that the chief, who they need the most help from in this entire trip, is her long lost brother, Kameawait. Um, and so not only will they get all the supplies they need, the Shoshone bring them in, allow them to rest for several days. They'll provide them with food. They'll provide them with horses, all the supplies necessary for the next piece of the journey, which will be across the Rocky Mountains, one of the most difficult parts of their trip. Without this help, the, they certainly have a much more difficult time and potentially are not able to cross the mountains. So I love that of all the people they would meet, it just happens to be her long lost brother that's the chief of the tribe they need the most help from. Love those kind of stories.